Hey guys. So next thing we're going to do is start making a data set and a data point class. These are going to contain all of the training data for training a network and we're going to be able to import and export those to and from XML. So after selecting neural network, let's go to project, add class, just choose a regular class. We'll call this network trainer like that. Um, but the first class we're going to make isn't actually the network trainer. The first class we're going to make public class data point. Sorry, data point. All right. Um, well, let's see. First things first. Let's create a constructor. Data point. We'll create an empty constructor so I can create one for free. Now what is a data point actually going to be? Data point is going to be an input-output pair, input of values for all of the nodes, and a desired output uh, value for all the nodes. And so we're going to need those. Go ahead and make them public. So let's go public double array input output. All right. Let's create a load method. So public void load. This will be... Uh, It'll accept capital input. Sorry, that's a double array capital input, double array capital output. And all we're going to do here is copy the input and output into our local variables. Okay. So input is going to be a new double of size capital input dot length like that and output is going to be a new double of size uh, capital output dot length just like that and then we'll do the cool array copy uh, the source is capital input the destination is lowercase input and the length is capital input dot length. All right, like that. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the output. Array.copy from capital output to output, capital output dot length. Just like that. Okay, so if you have an input and output uh, array of doubles, you can just create a data point and load them. And it'll be saved locally. In addition, let's create a constructor that accepts those. So data point input, oh, sorry, double array capital input, double array capital output. All right. And all it's going to do is call this load method. So load input output, just like that. All right. So another thing we're going to want to be able to do is export a data point to an XML element. And so let's go ahead and create public XML element uh, to XML, which will accept an XML document doc. Uh, these it doesn't understand, so let's resolve like that. All right, good to go. Um, Okay. So what do we need? Well, we're going to need a few things. A, uh, let's call this n data point, n type, and node. These are all XML elements. And let's create a couple of shortcut variables here int lin equals input dot length um, l out equals output dot length that'll be nice um, okay so the idea here is you're going to pass in the document for which to build this element and um, essentially it's going to have the following structure. There's going to be a data point which wraps this whole uh, input-output pair. There's going to be two child nodes, an input and an output node. Inside the input node there will be a bunch of data nodes all with indices. 
um, and the value that they correspond to. Similarly with the output node. Okay, so first, the data point, this is the whole data point element, is going to be doc.create element um, data point. All right. Now the first type we're going to load are the inputs. So ntype equals doc.create element. This is an input node, like so. And let's make a loop. So for int i equals 0, i is less than length of the input, i plus plus. Let's go through each one of these. Node is going to be doc.create element. And so we'll create a data element, node.set attribute. So let's create our standard index element. And this will be i to string and node dot append child. So this will uh, be the actual text value, which I think we could actually set uh, separately, but that's fine. Um, so let's do it this way, doc dot create text node, and it is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, input of i to string like that. And then we'll append that onto n type. So node. Okay. So that was brisk, but hopefully not too bad. Um, create a data element, set an index tag as an attribute, um, set its inner text value to the input, the ith input, and stuff that into our n type, which is the input element. Okay, do that for all of the inputs. After that, we're going to take our data point and plop in the input node. That's n type, like that. Like that. Now we'll do the exact same thing for output. So I'm just going to pause this and copy paste, replace uh, this with output, this with l out, and that with output. Okay? All right, so there it is. I uh, set n type to the new output element. I do a loop for i equals zero, i is less than l out, i plus plus. Exact same thing, create a data element, set its index equal to the i, right, the index here. Um, set its text equal to output of i, and stuff that all into the output element. And then after that's all done, I put the output element into my data point element and then I can just return and data point. Okay. So that's good. Um, now that I can do that, we're going to have to be able to load one from XML. So let's do this. Public void load XML element. Um, let's just call it LM. Okay. Now how do I load from XML. Well, let's uh, let's do this. We're going to need an XML node and type. These will have the same purpose as they did before. Int l in l out like that. Um, and we're also going to need an integer i. Okay, that'll come up later. So n type is going to be element dot select single node. Uh, we're going to select the input. Okay. Length of the input is going to be n type dot child nodes dot count. Right. So we add the input node. It has a certain number of data nodes within it and its children. Each one of those is an input. So that is the length of this input. Um, then that'll let me dimension input to be a new double array of size length in. Okay, and then we'll just do a for each loop. And we'll go through for each XML node, node uh, in n type dot child nodes. Let's do this. Um, so we're going to create an XML element 
capital N node, and it's going to be equal to um, lowercase n node cast as an XML element. And I need this because I'm just going to use the get attribute function to access the index attribute. Okay. Also, let's create a double called val. So to get the values out, we'll do an int, try parse as per usual, node, capital N node dot get attribute, get the index attribute like that, and I'm going to put it out into I. All right. Similarly, I'm going to try and parse the double, double dot try parse uh, node dot inner text. That's one way to do it. I'll put that out into val. Okay. And then we'll set, I'm sorry, input of i equal to val, just like that. All right. So again, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the output. So I'll pause it and then come back. Okay. So after this is the part that you just saw, I did the exact same thing here. I set n type equal to lm dot select single node of output. Uh, l out is going to be the number of child nodes for this output node. Um, I dimension the output array. I do a for each loop through each node, um, parse the values and stuff them back into the output array. Okay. So that is that. And just for fun, let's go ahead and add another constructor data point, which takes an XML element, lm, um, and calls the load method with it. So load lm, sorry, this is capital E, just like that. Okay, so now let's go test it. So let's go back to our program here, um, and let's create a data point, we'll call it D equals new data point. Just leave it empty for now. Let's create our input arrays, or sorry, input array, double array input equals new double of size two. Um, and it'll be 1.234, 5.678 as dummy values. Double array output equals new double array of size one. 8.901, I guess. Um, and let's do the following. Create an XML document. Doc equals new XML document. Uh, doc dot load XML. And we'll just make a string called root. Like that. And let's go doc dot document element dot append child. Um, our data point D dot to XML, and I need to pass in the current document that I'm going to go ahead and attach this to. Um, I guess I should actually load values into D, D dot load, input, output, just like that. Then I can use the cool feature of the doc save, doc dot save, and then put in console dot out, and that will save it to the console output stream, F5. All right, so there you go. There's the root element. Into that, I appended the uh, data points to XML output. And the output is exactly what we want. Data, put, uh, data point element with uh, an input and output tag. Two pieces of data here, 1.234, got indices, everything matches. So that uh, worked. All right, uh, we'll just test the loading here real quick and then uh, we'll move on to the data set.